Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Allie if you're new to my channel and welcome to Beauty with a Purpose. So for today's, or uh, if you're new to my channel, I upload four videos a week, beauty, Bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and let's get into today's video. So for today's video, I have for you guys a full face of first impressions. I know, I know. Now, <clears throat> everything is drugstore except for my primers. And the only reason those aren't is because one primer is a sample and then the other primer I wanted to give away. Other than that, everything is drugstore. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie my hair up and then we can start applying some makeup. So today is actually Brian and I's anniversary. So hopefully this makeup lasts all day. I'm down to do touch-ups like reapply lashes, fill in the brows, highlight, but I don't wanna have to redo my whole face. So when it comes five or six o'clock, um, our dinner reservations are at eight, but whenever it comes to five or six o'clock, we will see how the makeup's holding up or if I need to wash it off and start from scratch. So the first thing that I'm going to go ahead and try out is I have this little sample of the Becca Zero Pigment Foundation, which is basically just a primer. So I'm going to go ahead and apply this. This is supposed to help with like blurring and stuff like that give her a go and i'm not gonna use all of it that comes in here because it is pretty thick i don't know if you guys can see how thick it is and it's like a silicone primer so i'm only gonna put this where i need it a little bit more okay and then the next thing i'm gonna go ahead and try is the becca backlight filming backlight priming filter oh my gosh so that's what this one looks like. So let's go ahead and try this out. So, so far so good. My skin does look pretty smooth. Looks pretty, it doesn't feel as hydrating and like as like some of my other primers, but it is looking good. So the next thing I do wanna go ahead and go in with are the Pro, is the Profusion Brow Kit Duo thing. Comes with a pencil and the brow gel, so we are gonna try out both. I said I got mine in the shade Soft Black because anytime it's brunette or anything like that, it's way too warm tone for me. And as you guys can see, I have pretty dark hair. Not black, but it is really dark brown. I don't think I've ever met anybody with like naturally like black hair. Brian maybe, but that's because he's also a darker skin person. So, so let's go ahead and go ahead. This is called the Good Brow Day Ultra Fine Brow Pencil. And that's just what it looks like. Here goes nothing. Profusion actually makes one of my favorite br eyebrow brushes, like um, brow eyebrow brushes. So who knows, maybe they'll come out with a pomade soon. See how this works though. Color is perfect. This is more of like a blacker, uh, a brown black. This is like the color that I use in all my pencils or try to. So the formula on this pencil is more dry rather than super creamy like some of my other pencils, but that doesn't bother me because that just leads me to believe that it's going to stick more and not slide around. Like it's not so dry that you can't use it. So it works. It's not super creamy, but it's not dry to where it's unusable. And you can blend out a harsh line. So you can still blend it out. It's just a drier formula. Okay, so now that brows are done, I don't mind the pencil. This will, this is definitely better for like more natural-ish makeup looks only because it's, like I said, this is like my perfect color. So even though it says soft black, it's more of a dark brown rather than a soft black to me because I don't I don't I don't know how to explain it, but it's like the perfect color for me. And like I said, the form the formula is more dry, but it is still blendable and it's still usable. So I don't mind it. And it didn't seem like 
it didn't seem like it was rubbing off or anything like that. And I feel like, I don't know, I was able to get some good brows with that. So today we will be trying out the Pretty Fresh Concealer by ColourPop. That's just what it looks like. Like I said, I got mine in the shade Light 40 In and it did not look this light in the store. Like I feel like it looks a lot lighter now that I brought it home rather than it did in the store. But we are gonna go ahead and prime our lids with this. And then we are trying out the new LA Girl sponge. Alexis Jada here on YouTube swears by this sponge. So I was like, you know what? Let me give it a go. Cause she loves this sponge. Um, I feel like that concealer blended out to nothing on my lips. Am I tripping or am I tripping? I don't know. I'm gonna try to blend it out with the brush because I feel like that sponge absorbed everything. Okay, so definitely a concealer that needs to be blended out with a brush if you want any kind of pigments or coverage because that sponge, like, I don't know if it's the sponge or if it's the concealer. So I feel like people rave about this concealer. So yeah, it's a little bit better with coverage. Okay, now we are gonna go in with the new palette. Shout out to my girl Raquel because she's the one that motivated me to buy this palette because she did such beautiful looks with this palette. I'll link her video down below of where she played with this palette. How many times can I say palette? So anyways, taking this LA Girl eyeshadow palette and this one is in foreplay. And so I'm just gonna use that same concealer brush and I'm gonna take this cream shade and just set all over my eyelid with that. All right, so now I'm going to be taking this shade right here and I'm just going to apply that lightly in my crease just to start us off with something. Okay, next I am gonna go ahead and take this shade here and we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Just a little bit more precise. These shadows are so good. Okay, I'm gonna take this white haired brush and it's from the same set as this one, which is that Amazon brush kit. I'll link it down below again. I do link it in all of my videos, or every time I talk about them. Let's go ahead and I'm just gonna try to do a halo eye. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and I'm gonna go in with this center one right here and I'm gonna pop that right on the center of my eyelid. Ooh. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Come through, LA girl. Yeah. I could never, oh my gosh. High-end eyeshadows could never. Okay, now if you don't want the glitter all over your eye, don't blend around it. Just pack it and move on. This little eyeshadow palette is the bee's knees. Mmm. That's how the eyeshadow palette has me feeling. Oh, I'm so weird. So simple yet just yeah, so now we are gonna go ahead and move in to mascara. So the mascara I'm trying out for the first time ever is this Essence Volume Stylist Lash Extension Mascara. And I will, oh, I forgot, you guys, I have a new eyelash curler. I feel so fancy with this eyelash curler. Ooh, my fancy. Okay, let's curl our lashes. Let's see how this works, if it beats my little clearest one that I had for two years. 
Let's see. Ah, I got my lower lashes. Mm. Okay. Now we are going to go ahead and go in with this mascara. I like this one better than the Lash Princess one because I feel like whenever you buy the Lash Princess one, like it's way too wet and then it's like, it makes you never want to use it when you first buy it just because of like how wet it is. So I already like this one a lot better. Y'all, we might have a new favorite. I like this. I really like this, but the real test will come whenever we wear this all day and we'll see if it smudges underneath because I don't like that. Nope. Y'all know that's my rule breaker. Rule breaker for mascara is flaking and smudging. It's a no-go. So, so far, so good. Just so far, so good. So far, so good. So far, so good. I'm trying these Eyelore lashes. These are their 3D faux mink eyelashes. They're wispy 3D, 3D effect eyelashes. These are in the style 185. So... I will go ahead and take these out. Okay, so it does come with this little like lash glue there. So let's go ahead. We're obviously gonna measure these and I these, these bands already have a lot of extra band on them. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut that extra band off. Don't know how I'm feeling about this style yet, but <laughs> these actually fit my eye perfectly. Y'all don't tell nobody, but whenever I was trying to get this glue like the, she the shelf at my Ulta was kind of like in the way, like, I don't know if you've seen the eye lore lash little spot at your Ulta, if they have like on display, like the lashes, but it's like, it's like a little bar. And then like, they have lashes on the inside and then it's covered like in an acrylic top. Anyway, it covers like the little hangy things that you slide stuff off of. And so I was like, man, dang it. I can't get to this dang eyelash glue. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna lift the bar up just a little bit. It's like, I lift it up, like I barely tilt it, y'all. And it came off the whole back part of the shelf. And I sat there for like five minutes, acting like I was looking at lashes. But really I was trying to fix the little display thing of lashes. I put it back, but y'all, when I put it back, it was going like this. It was no longer straight across, but. Your girl tried, like I really tried. So this is, anyways, this lash glue is like an eyeliner glue. So I'm gonna apply it. I don't like, I don't like the fact that this is gonna get so dirty from, uh, from eyeshadow. I feel like I applied it way too high. I need my tweezers, that's what it is. I'm trying to be bold and put on lashes without tweezers, who is she? So anyways, let's try this again. Like I said, it's really gonna bother me if this keeps getting dirty with like eyeshadow. Mascara's already dry. I like a fast drying mascara. I feel like I'm gonna struggle with this liner. I thought it was an actual lash glue. All right. All right, we're not gonna try that today. Like, we gonna have to try that when I ain't got on no makeup, y'all. I'll play around with that later. For now, I'm gonna try the actual Eyelore thing, the Eyelore lash glue that it comes with. A little pin. I, it stuck the first time, but I didn't apply them right. And then the second time, it just, just wasn't cooperating with me, so I don't know. We'll try it again on the other eye. Y'all, I think it's the style I don't like. <sighs> I hate when lashes look so pretty from the top, but then you see them straight on and you're like, and sometimes they look busted from the top, but you see them straight on and they're like, dang, those are pretty. I'm just having, I don't know, y'all. Don't mind me. I don't think I like this style of lashes. Oops, I said that we were gonna use the pen again. I forgot, y'all. My B, my B. Told y'all I'll be forgetting stuff so fast. I already can tell y'all like, Brian might not like this style of lashes on me. I don't think he's gonna like these lashes on me. I don't know, what do y'all think of these lashes? Cause right now they're not my cup of tea y'all. So let's go ahead and try this um, 
Profusion Feel Good Skin Foundation. This is Long Wear Skin Skin Perfector and Hyaluronic Acid Medium to Full Coverage Natural Satin Finish. Has SP F of 15. This is also a vegan and cruelty free. Got mine in the shade Light One. Taking the LA Girl sponge. Wow, that's that's really good coverage, y'all. Okay, it's a lit like a smidge too light for me. Like, I feel like now that it's drying down, it, it's just a smidge too light for me, y'all. Like, I feel like it looks gray. Like, it has a gray undertone, even though it says warm yellow. Like, you see the color it goes on compared to the color it dries down to. I'm just gonna have to keep on pushing, y'all, and make it work. Okay, so next thing we're gonna go in with is concealer. And like I said, I have the shade Light 40 in, which is actually perfect for this foundation because it's so light. So let's see. I don't know if it was just my eyelids or what, but let's see, even now that the sponge is dried out a little bit more, see how the coverage does. Maybe my sponge was just too wet when I tried to blend out, blend it out for my eyeshadow. Okay, the lashes aren't so bad now that I'm getting more makeup on my face. Okay, so for powder, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this all over my face. And this is the Clean, the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Healthy Look Pressed Powder. Everybody's talking about this. Everybody's raving about it. Everybody loves it. So, when I was a kid, I used to love the way um, CoverGirl powders would smell. And we're just gonna use this Fayon brush, which is the same brand as the eyeshadow brushes I used. Just kidding, because it keeps falling off the stick. <laughs> Gotta get it. Okay, we'll use this BH Cosmetics number two brush. Oh, 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 oh. Picked up way too much. And this powder is way too light. It looked a little darker in the picture when I bought it, because this one I did buy online. So be careful whenever you tap into it, because your girl swirled kicked up so much powder. Okay, we are gonna have to try to do a lot of warming up, but first, I'm gonna coat. I'm just gonna take this shade right here and run it along the lower lash line. And that is the only shade I will be taking. Who was the first company to come out with lash glue liner because I feel like Eilers wasn't advertised or anything like that, but that's what I picked up and I was just trying to find a new lash glue. I'm gonna use my brown eyeliner from LA Girl just for the waterline. I need to sharpen that y'all. Dang, I stabbed my whole eyeball and scratched it. Okay, and now back into this mascara. Super excited to see how it does on the lower lashes. I like this mascara on the lower lashes, you guys. Like, kind of makes my lower lashes match the fancy. <laughs> okay, so now that we are done with the eyes, kind of, just got to do the inner corner in a sec. Let's go ahead and go in with this Profusion Contour Palette. Now, I may actually have to use an actual bronzer. I didn't buy an actual bronzer though, you guys. I feel like I fell at life. I'm so sorry, y'all. Let me actually bronze my face because there's not a bronze shade in there. All right, BH Cosmetics, your time to shine. I'm using the Brilliance Bronzer, just looking at it, you could probably tell why. Super warm. Need some color back onto my face so I don't look so gray. What shade is this in? Coco Cutie. 
now that we're done with actual like bronzing we can go ahead and get back into the contour palette i am going to play it safe and mix these two for the first time and see what we can get done and i'm taking this what brand is this? This billion dollar brush or the billion dollar brand. So these are billion dollar brushes and this is the Sculpting Duo brush. So I'm gonna take this fatter end right here. And like I said, we're mixing these two to stay on the safe side for today. I'm just gonna go right into that cheekbone. Now for blush, we are going to take the Essence, the blush in B15, and we are just going to apply that with a Luxie 640 Pro Precision Tapered Brush. Okay, and then for highlight, we're going to try this Milani Strobe Light. Um highlighter in the shade O2 Day Glow. I haven't ever had a Milani highlighter and Milani is actually like just one of those brands that I always want, but it's always leans more towards the expensive side. I did win this in a giveaway from Victoria here on YouTube. Check her out. I will also link her channel down below. And yeah, she did this giveaway on her Instagram though. So yeah, I won it and I never win anything you guys. So thank you, Victoria, for the makeup. And thank you, Raquel, for inspiring me to buy this eyeshadow palette. Mm. Now I am going to take just a little pencil brush and I'm gonna put this, I don't, I feel like that has gray on it. And I'm so nervous now. I'm gonna take this one and put this on the inner corner. I feel like all we need now are lips. Still feel like I look a little bit gray, just a little bit gray. Okay, so for lips, the first lip liner I'm gonna go in with is, this is the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liner, and this one is in the shade Bare. Gotta get up close for my lips, y'all. appreciate a girl who can rock a nude lip like this but I'm not that girl so taking the Milani understatement lip liner this one is in the shade cinnamon statement and we're just gonna outline and fill in now I learned this technique from what would Lizzie do because she said you know like go in with the lighter color first and then go in with the darker color because usually what I do is I go in with the darker color first and then I go in with the lighter color so let's just Try it out. Y'all, a nude lip is everything in the fall, so. Dang it, y'all. I had this to try out. Let's see if we can't work around these lashes just to try this out. Oh no, I thought that this was gonna be like an ink liner, like a liner pen. It's not, let's just put this, let's just tight line with this, I guess. I thought it was gonna be like a felt tip liquid liner, but it's not, that's my B, my B. Okay, so brow setting gel. I haven't even seen what the wand looks like. Oh, it's a little wand, kind of like your standard one that comes in brow gels. It is tinted, so let's see. The brush holds a ton of product, y'all, so be warned. Okay, y'all, that brush is loaded with product, so be careful. So first I'm gonna spray this one just to add some hydration to my skin and then I'm gonna spray this one in order to set the makeup down, you guys, so. If you have oily skin, you would love all the products I use today because I have not a hint of shine. Now to set the Milani. Okay. 
All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. This is the final look. What do you guys think? Still don't know how I'm feeling about the lashes. The I love this eyeshadow palette. I really do. The only thing I would change is this one to maybe like a deep, dark, chocolatey brown because there's not really much that you could do with this shade. So yeah, I would go with like, if I were to switch out anything, this one would just be a really deep, rich, chocolatey brown just to have something super deep other than this. But overall, you guys, I really, really liked this palette. Um, Yo, I just don't know how I'm feeling about these lashes on me because up close, like you can see that there's a gap between my real lashes and the band to these and I don't like that. And I really did try to get as close as I could. The sponge, you guys, I really, really like. Like I said, I don't know what was going on with that concealer at the beginning on my eyelids, but it's not the bee's knees. Essence blush, I love Essence blush, Essence's blush. Overall, I have their coral one, I believe. I have their coral one. And it's also a really, really good blush. Um, concealer, still testing it out. When I just looked up close, because I had to plug my light back in. Creasing just a little bit. Powder might be a little bit too dry or it's just in combination with the foundation. So like I said, it doesn't look cakey. My skin really does look flawless and smooth. It just looked a smidge dry. This is really good. I think Profusion has their powder formula down to a T. Blendable and everything like that. Eyebrow pencil was good. Eyebrow gel. I don't know, still waiting on it. You guys seen it was just a little bit messy. Just a smidge messy. But it does add like a lot of pigment to your brows. Okay, so yeah, other than that, this is super duper pigmented. It adds a lot of pigment to your brows. So it does make up for how this one's a little bit more on the dry side and you can't like really, really build it up or anything like that. This is a very similar formula to the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil, and that's like my favorite brow pencil ever. Primer, not bad, but I definitely wouldn't use to like, I would have to combine this with something more hydrating because it's not hydrating on its own. Lash curler, not too bad. Oh, I forgot. I was supposed to put this liquid lipstick on y'all. Because I've actually never used this liquid lipstick and it's been in my collection for like ever. And this is just a Smashbox liquid lipstick in Bear Alert. This little lash glue is really good, you guys. I'm gonna have to work with this pen. I was just so scared to mess up my eyeshadow with this. So like I said, I would have to try this on a day where I do like little to no eyeshadow because I was really scared to take it off. Like I was scared that it was gonna like wipe off my eyeshadow. I can already tell you guys that this is probably going to be a favorite. Like I said, I gotta wait to see if it flakes or smudges, but so far so good. Did we talk about everything? Did we talk about this? Like the highlighter. This lip liner is really good. I already know I like these lip liners. These are actually really creamy for being wooden and I don't know how to apply lipstick, y'all. Yeah, that is it for this video, you guys. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. Let me know any more video suggestions down below. It could be anything, beauty, Bible, or lifestyle. Just leave that in the comment section. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. I love you guys, but always remember that Jesus loves you more. And if you haven't already, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. Mwah.